Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It's Friday, the 28th of July. This is our weekly recap. You want to join us, come on over to SmartOptionTrading.com. The link is in the description below. Click on Live Trading Alerts and join us for $25 for 30 days. Cancel any time. What a wild week we've had, guys, here as the market uh, broke out yesterday and reversed hard and put an ugly, ugly candle on volume in yesterday, looking like we were about to get the start of a pullback, the much needed and much anticipated pullback, only to gap up today and say, nope, and basically just sit here and squeeze everybody short in this market. And, you know, that's uh, not the type of action you want to see, but it is what it is. And if you're trading in the markets right now, you need to remain a bullish bias, um, you know, until something actually breaks. All right, so the SPY today coming back up here. Uh, we did not come down this far, by the way. This is a bad print by Thinkorswim. On the tail there, you can see today we traded in a very tight range here all day long. Not much to see here. The Qs were a completely different story today. And by that, I mean is the Qs here took back all of yesterday's weakness, got right back to just shy of yesterday's high and not far from breaking out in the, in the recent highs there. IWM was kind of in between, holding it okay, like the SPY and the, dime, the diamonds, which have been raging, uh, another kind of weaker day. The SMH has put a new high on the day in. The XLE here came off the 200-day in holding. The financials also, you know, kind of holding here on the 8-day. Today was very much about names, and this week has been a very good name if you focused on names in the market. And, uh, you know, that's a lot of what we've been doing here is focusing on names with earnings. We had some big earnings trades. Uh, after hours on this this week, I know I, I did, and I know some other people in the room did. They were very happy. And really, it was just about being in the right names this week and trying not to overly worry about the market. Apple, uh, I know you guys love it. We have earnings there next week, and we have a huge week of earnings on tap. Right back up to the top of this range, holding in good. Chevron gave us a nice trade early on Monday when they pre-announced, and today they're down a little bit on the actual conference call. Um what else is out there? NVIDIA gave trades all week long, grinding back up just shy of the recent all-time highs there. Google on earnings gave a fabulous trade and gave trades each day the rest of this week for those that wanted it. Same thing with Boeing. Boeing had an incredible week move on earnings here, three days up in a row. Meta gave a great after-hours trade yesterday. You know, they sold the hell out of it today. They took it all back and put a new 52-week new plus high in here. Very, very mixed volume on a lot of these names, and that's what we're seeing here right now and how this is trading. What else we have out there? Roku today was absolutely monstrous. Screaming candle, over 50 million shares traded. This thing is just nuts. It does not have a lot of resistance up to the 95 area now. And again, they're rewarding names with good earnings, names that haven't had good earnings like Tesla. They're not they're not giving up on them. They're just holding in still underneath the 8 and the 21-day. Microsoft had a nice bounce back today. Again, it's still underneath the 8 the 21 day. So these guys are still somewhat in the penalty box. In the semis, AMD kind of remains in the penalty box. It cannot break back above the 50 day. Loves to use the 50 day as support and resistance there. Intel had a better than expected report. Uh, almost took out the 52 week high. What else was strong? Uh, Avgo here looking very strong near all time high highlights. LRCX also put a new all time high in. Strong move on that one. We have on semi on Monday morning. We have AMD next week. I mean, if you look at the earnings list next week, it is uh, earnings palooza and a bunch of different names. So with that said, you know, I'm going to do charts on Sunday morning. You know, great week here in the markets. Everything kind of holding in well. Um, you know, we could do, we, we're overdue and we could use a pullback, but the market doesn't want to give one right now. And so you got to stay bullish bias until it does, but just need to be a little bit more careful here as obviously we're getting a little bit more back and forth. With that said, I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you guys live in the room on Monday morning.